everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna from AxeRadTech.com and I help you go from the classroom to the extra room with ease. It's morning time, 6.36 a.m. After a few minutes, I thought why not film my first video. I did a poll asking you guys what video you like to see next and the highest rated option on the poll was what my first day as a radiographer was like. So let's get into that. I'm in need of an X-ray. For my first day, well, first of all, I wasn't too sure how, like, what to expect, um, technically, because this is a site where I'm working at, is a site that I did practicals at, clinical practicum, or practical, at, for a lot of, like, a lot, a lot, a lot of my practicum, because we had about six practicums, and basically every practicum, at some point I was rusted here, whether it is a week at a time, a few days at a time. So I was familiar with the place, but obviously from a student's perspective. And as a student, they don't know protocols, they don't really know how the hospital works. You just have a small idea of the radiography, like setting like x-ray, for example. You would have an idea of how that works. But even then, it wasn't quite what I expected. It was it was so much more I had to learn. I had to learn like pass codes and all of that. So what I actually did, because we had a tour in the morning, well, we were supposed to anyway. My tour came later on in the day. Um, also, let me just throw in there that when I um, applied, I did the interview with a few other of my graduating class, a few other members. So, yeah, I think three of us got through um, at this hospital location where I'm at. And... A couple got through as well later along the line. But yeah, it started with the three of us from this batch. And so yeah, we had our tour on the first day. I don't think it came like as soon as we, we got there. We kind of just went straight to actually like we had to obviously sign our assumption of duty form to say that okay, today is the day that we start working here. We would have already received like contracts and information on the contracts and stuff like that. And it was just to kind of get acquainted with the area. So we got a little tour of the different departments, x-ray, um, got to see where CT and MRI is officially, even though we kind of had an idea before. Um, we saw, did we go to the cat lab? I'm not sure. But we got a fair idea. We got pointed out to different areas. We knew the area of ICU and HDU and resuscitation and stuff like that. So we got to familiarize ourselves with that. But the areas such as ICU and so on, did a passcode. What I did, I had the notes up in my phone and I literally wrote down all the passcodes for the different doors because I didn't want to forget it and I didn't want to have to always call somebody or call the department to find out, oh, was it was it code to get into ICU again? You know, it's kind of embarrassing. So I just like made a note of that on my phone. So I recommend that you do that as well. Um, what else? We basically got a tour. Obviously, we just starting out. We are fresh out of our degree program, so they're not gonna. Well, at least in our case, we weren't just thrown into a fast-paced setting such as the accident and emergency department. At least for adults, anyway. We actually went to the general actual department where clinic patients and ward patients would come. A kind of slower pace. Still a lot of patients, but definitely a slower paced environment, so that you can kind of get reacquainted and and learn how it runs in these different areas because different departments will have slightly different protocols as to how they would follow through with different things that may come up different situations right so that was basically it i kind of watch any time too because i need to you know not be late but yeah it was not a bad um first experience i just you know the typical typical procedures you, you don't you might get a few like special views in addition to your typical routine views based on the clinic whether it's orthopedic clinic that the patient is coming from or however it went um usually if a patient had any fractures it wouldn't be like open wounds because it's general department they would have already had on their cast or had their reduction done and you know simpler things like that so it was a pretty i keep watching this i should be watching here it was a pretty good experience and all in all it really helped shape the way things went from then on out so i did like it was a good day it was very helpful it was necessary and it was a good introduction um we worked monday to friday seven to three and then eventually um after like probably like a less than a 
probably yeah i think about a little less than a month or just about at a month's time we actually kind of um started working shift when other people came in afterwards it was not like that for them because it, they didn't have like it wasn't as understaffed so there wasn't really the need for for the newer set of persons that came in to really rush into shift work but um in the first month at least it was just seven to three um in the last week of that month i think we started not or was it the following month i think the next month by month two the first weekend month two it wasn't just monday to friday we would probably work on saturday and stay home one day in a week to kind of get accustomed to how the weekend goes versus the typical work hours you know so yeah that's about it um that's basically how we went i don't think there's anything more really to add if you have any questions do leave them down below and of course i will answer them as soon as i see them as soon as i can um thank you all so much for watching and yeah we hit 1000 subscribers obviously the first post that i could have made on my community post here on youtube was only when i meet the 1000 subscriber mark so i'm so happy and i see the number growing i think this morning i saw it like 1.06 and yesterday was 1.05 so it's really nice to see the community building, you know. I can't wait to get more content out for you guys. And I look forward to all of this, you know. So yeah, leave any comments, questions, concerns. I don't know. Anything you want to say, anything you want to add down in the comments below. How was your first day or what are you looking forward to most? You know, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.